third and fourth the trial on the case of seven Nida movement actors, a member of Azad Genshki organization Ikenustan Zade, continued in Baku Court of Grave Crimes. Defendants told the judge that on their way to the Kirdahan investigation facility after the trial process held on April 1st, zero gas were thrown to the car carrying them. Zahar Gurbanlu noted that it happened at the entrance of the facility. For unknown reasons, the car was stopped, the airing system was turned off in the automobile. Ikenustan Zade and Zahar Gurbanlu, who suffered asthma and heart disease, started to feel bad. Although they asked to open the door, the chief guard didn't open it and insulted them. Then they started to kick the door when the officers threw in the tear gas. Consequently, Gurbanlu fainted. Shahin Novruzlu said that he still has high temperature and feels dizziness. Penitentiary Service claims that it conducts investigation into the incident, but tries to excuse it with a claim that defendants attempted to escape. Later on, accused Uzair Mehmed, the providing testimony, stated that Nida movement was set up in February 2011 with the purpose of promoting democratization in Azerbaijan. The movement carries out educative activities, assists in defense of citizens' rights, and tries to draw attention to the corruption in education. Mehmedli noted that Nida had never had large budget projects and the organization had never got grants from local or foreign donors. Mehmedli touching upon the 9 to 4,000 mana taken from the apartment of defendant Shahin Novruzlu, which the persecution outs would be used for the organization of right, noted that investigation hadn't introduced any evidence on the source of the money. Mehmedov noted that the investigation checked the activities of the U.S. National Democratic Institute and also failed to establish that the organization passed finance to Nida. We discussed holding protests over the death of soldier Allah Verdiv on Facebook, but in order to attract attention to this matter, we decided to organize the sanctioned protests better. But the city government didn't respond to our notice. We have already participated in 10th March protests, which was declared through Facebook, but there were no clashes. In general, 109 to 8 protesters were detained, and no criminal case was opened against them. Mehmedli noted that Nida to some extent reached its goal. After elections, defense minister was changed, attention to the soldier deaths was increased. Now funerals of the soldiers killed at the battlefront are held with much respect, and they are rewarded with medals. Mehmedli rejected all charges brought against him, finding them politically motivated. Then Zahar Group, only giving testimony in the process, mentioned that he participated there as a witness and asked the judge to let him out of cage. Judge granted the motion, but Gurbanlu was handicapped. He noted that it was not clear to him what the he asked the court to grant all defendants with acquittal as they were not present in Venice Cafe. Hearing of Gurban with handcuffs was evaluated as a violation of European Human Rights Convention. Afterwards, Khalid Bavarov presented a number of evidences based on the official information and news released in mass media to show innocence of defendants. This of soldier Seymour Allah Verdiv happened at 15.32 on February 28th. It means that the youth accused at the same time couldn't be discussing the protest over his death. Media released information on the death of the soldier on March 1st. Only after this, active discussions on the death had started and date of the protest was fixed to March 10th. First-hand information on the protest was released on the media at 3 p.m. on March 1st. Bagarov also presented the list of people who could prove that on February 28th, Mehmedli and Gurbanlu were not in the Venice Cafe. On April 1st hearing, the judge heard the petition of lawyer Khalid Bagarov. The lawyer offered summons of new witnesses to the process and also presented links of materials released in the media. They proved that on February 28th, death of the soldier Allah Verdi was not known. So due to this, the protest couldn't have been appointed on that date. The judge Javed Hussein didn't grant the petition. Later on, defendant Ilkin Ustan Zayde gave a testimony. He also noted that it was not clear to him what criminal offense he had committed. Public prosecutor Nemet Avazov noted that Ruslan Zade was a member of organized criminal group and made a call for the 10th March protest on Facebook. Ruslan Zade stated that calling for participation in the protest is the realization of freedom of assembly provided by the European Human Rights Convention. Azerbaijan legislation doesn't consider any criminal punishment for this. It envisages only administrative punishment. As for the charge of illegal possession of explosive substance, this charge was put forward over the statement of defendant Shahin Novruzlu. So that Novruzlu confessed under torture that Rusanzade Azlu called for a riot on Facebook. 
Most of cocktails taken from the apartment of Melrose are not explosive, they are flammable substances, and it doesn't create responsibility by the article 228.3. Chatting between Novrosla and Bechtiar Guliev or the usage of Molotov cocktails cannot be a subject for criminal prosecution. Rustamzadeh also added that hooliganism charge brought against him due to the videotaped Harlem Shake Dance is baseless and absurd, because it caused no damage to anyone. Then he pointed out that investigators forcefully made and gave statement that Azerbaijan-based U.S. National Democracy Institution's former representative, member of sexual minorities Alex Grigorius, funded several projects to support the moral of Azerbaijan youth and that he allocated months throughout the defendant Zeyn Mehmeti to fund the aforementioned videotape. A day before imprisonment of Dostam Zadeh, he was suggested to slander Rashad Hasanov, in which return he was guaranteed to go abroad. Dostam Zadeh called on authorities to struggle with dignity. He protested the host of ATV channel, MP Eitbar Hussein's program where Harlem Shake videotape was shown, and members of NIDA were presented as immoral people. The next trial will continue on April 8th. Note that the seven actors of Nida Civic Movement were detained in April and May of 2013 and are charged with planning to use Molotov cocktails during a mass protest in Baku on March 10, 2013. Some of the youth are also charged with illegal possession of drugs. Member of Azad Ganjlik organization Ilkenu Stamzaida, who is co-accused with Nida actors, was detained on May 17, 2013. He was first charged with hooliganism, then additional with organizing riots and attempting to participate in them. Amnesty International has recognized all of the youth as the prisoners of conscience.